Today, Brian Flanoff made his first court appearance in Winnebago County. His bond set at a half million dollars. Tonight, prosecutors say more charges could be coming as investigators review video evidence capturing the critical moments of Saturday's deadly standoff. NBC 26's Billy Wagness begins tonight's live team coverage. Yes, yeah, Stacy. Today's five charges alone could add up to 38 years behind bars if Flatoff is convicted. But witnesses are still being interviewed, and 200 pages of documents and reports are still being examined by the deputy DA. Are you currently employed? Not since January. Reports and reviews coming from every police agency involved make up only part of the workload ahead for the DA's office. Um, I haven't had an opportunity to review all the reports yet. Along with that, dash cam video from the scene. If there's body cameras or not, I don't know, so I won't say. I know I've been told of squad car video from out in the alley. The charges flat off is currently facing stem from a violent incident just hours before the standoff at Eagle Nation Cycles. Severe allegations in that it involved a weapon, a reckless disregard for human life. According to the criminal complaint, flat off quote, had been drinking vodka or rum throughout the course of the night with a friend. At one point, aiming a handgun, quote, above her head and pulling the trigger. Yeah, they're serious charges. The complaint says Flatoff then drove to Eagle Nation to settle a dispute over a motorcycle. Attempted first degree intentional homicide, taking of hostages, false imprisonment, additional felon in possession of firearm charges, and felony murder for his involvement in the death of Michael Funk. Additional charges are expected no later than Wednesday of next week. Now, a felony murder charge, if sought, does not mean Flatoff pulled the trigger in the fatal shooting of Michael Funk. The person or persons responsible for firing those fatal shots or shot have yet to be identified. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Thanks, Billy.